So in today's video, we're talking about the reason why most of y'all are still single. Hi boss babes, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Simone Sanangre. I'm on Instagram and I'm on TikTok as at boss Simone one if it is your first time tuning in, you are more than welcome to be part of the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know that I love you so much and I appreciate you. So in today's video, we're talking about the reason why most of you are still single. In quotes, you are still single because you have unrealistic expectations and you will never find that Mr. Right or Mrs. Right that you are looking for because of your unrealistic expectations. So society has led us into believing that some of the expectations and standards that some people are still holding today are unmatched and they cannot be attained. Most people have been led to believe that if they believe in a certain way of doing things, they need to change and adapt to the way in which society has started doing things in which or else you find yourself single, lonely and alone. Well, is that true or it's just, it's just society making us believe that we need to have a group mentality and just fall on the flock and be amongst the crowd and doing what the rest of the people are doing. I personally don't believe that a person needs to lower their standards simply because you keep on meeting a bunch of people that portrays the same kind of characteristics and you end up trying and thinking and feeling that you need to lose hope or you need to lower your standards a bit i don't believe as a person you need to lower your standards not at all remain with the kind of standards that you have and at the right time when the time is right as the lord always says when the time is right i the lord will make it happen for you as you continue as a person being steadfast as you continue as a person believing that these are my standards that's it they are not going to change i'm not going to change the standard just because of disappointments or meeting the same kind of characteristics which is modeled in every other person that you continue meeting as much as people would like to bring down their standards and say i'm lowering my standards i still don't see the reason why a person would settle for someone who makes them feel less of themselves i still don't see the reason why a person would settle for someone who makes them feel who does not make you as happy as you make yourself when you are single? I mean, if you are single and happy and you meet someone who makes you unhappy, what is the reason? What is the facade? What is the, 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 the reason of you staying? Is it because you want to be labeled as you are in a relationship? Is it because you are after the inner relationship status or what? And if, after you have the inner relationship status, then what do you get out of it? Why is it that when it comes to choosing a relationship, when it comes to choosing a life partner, we are led into believing that we need to lower our standards. But people are so picky when it comes to looking for jobs. People are so picky when it comes to getting, buying a house, buying a car, buying clothes. People know what they want. When someone walks into a shop to buy groceries or buy clothes, a person knows exactly what they want and they go straight away for that and f straight away for that and they do not wait for anyone to talk them out of anything. But what why is it that when it comes to relationship, you continue to meet a bunch of people and people keep on criticizing you and telling you that you have high standards for the so for the world that we are living in today you have high standards in quotes and you need to lower your standards so that or else you will remain single ladies let's have a conversation down in the comment section let me know what you think about the way in which things are being done today let me know what you think about us being expected to lower our standards simply because we want to match up simply because we want to be in a relationship is it advisable for a woman to lower their standards is it advisable for you as a woman as you know what you want as a woman, you know what you want as a person, you know that I want A, B, C, D, but because you have decided that now I'm going to lower my standard because I'm not meeting what I want. What happened to just waiting? What happened to just being happy the way that you are? Do you really have to force things? Do you really have to force yourself in situation that leaves you depressed or angry or um, unhappy or not loving yourself enough i simply believe that you need to love yourself enough more to an extent whereby you put up even if your standards are up here to the point you should not 
be conformed to the standards of everything that is ha happening around you you should not try to change to fit in i mean it's fine to stand out it is fine to be different and and because you know what you want you know your goals you know your aspirations and in the end you end up getting what you want i mean there's nothing wrong as a person in saying i'd rather be single than be with what is uh than being with whatever that it is that is being offered to you in front of you and feeling like this is not what i want there's nothing wrong as a person in, as a person in having standards there is nothing wrong as a person in have being picky and 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 having choice there is absolutely nothing wrong in loving yourself enough to know that if someone that i meet does not see the the things the way that i see them then it simply is not worth it it is absolutely not worth it at all thank you so much guys for tuning into today's video i'm here to inspire and to be inspired and if you are inspired by me please 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 do me a huge favor subscribe to my youtube channel and like this video as well and share it with someone else if you feel like you want to share it with someone else and also don't forget to check me out on my other social media platforms i love you guys all so much and see you in my next video